Okay, in this video we're going to attach the servo to the chassis of your minibot. We have, they're going to be located at the back, one on each side. We're going to do the one on this side. Okay, so we're going to start with the servo bracket. We're going to put the nut through, we're going to put the bolts through the servo. And then we're going to put the bracket on. We do it this way because it's much easier to do it this way than to fix the bracket to the base and have to wrestle with it to fit the servo. We're just going to hand tighten, like on the previous video, we're just going to hand tighten these to start off with. Then we're going to tighten them up with the screwdriver and the spanner. Okay, we're going to use the acrylic spanner. Make sure you use the side that has a cutout because this side was specially designed for this purpose. This is because it's going to be easier to do it this way. Make sure you don't over tighten these because you are more likely to snap this end of the spanner than the other end. Purely because there's less plastic so it's weaker. Okay. Now we're going to repeat the process on the other side of the servo. Again, we're just going to hand tighten these before we use the screwdriver and spanner. Okay. Now I'm going to fit it to the base. Make sure I'm just going to remove that. Make sure that you put the bolts through the base and put the nuts on the top. This is <clears throat> so that when the uh, mini bot is moving, it um, it will move easier because there's nothing stopping it from moving.
Okay, we're going to take the spanner and the screwdriver and we're going to tighten these bolts up. Okay, we're now going to connect the servo to the receiver. Make sure that the right hand side servo goes into channel 1. And as you can see, it's got a cut out here, cut out on there, so that this can only go in one way. It goes in. that way so the black wire is facing outwards we're now going to repeat that now we're going to repeat the process on the other side we aren't going to video this because the process is exactly the same as it is on the other side just make sure that you plug the only difference is that servo is going to be connected into channel 2 